Hi guys! So as you know, I've been trying to find good quality vegan leather traveler's notebooks for about the past year and it's been quite difficult until relatively recently when all of a sudden I was lucky enough to find a few really really nice ones and this is the latest one. This is a Love Doki traveler's notebook in personal size and I found this on the Etsy shop Love by Gabby which I've mentioned in other videos. It's a great place for getting really awesome hard to find planner supplies and I'll leave the link down below. For some reason this doesn't seem to be available on the Doki book website. I don't understand why but it's made by Love Doki and the only place that I've seen it is Love by Gabby. It doesn't seem to be in stock right now. She seems to have sold out, but I would think she's probably going to be getting them back in. And if you're interested, I would say just email her and she's very good at getting back and she'll be able to tell you when she's getting them in stock. So like I said, this is personal size. And if we compare it to a personal sized file of facts, you can see that it's a little bit narrower but just exactly the same height. So it's quite comparable, although it's it's a bit narrower. If we compare it to the standard Midori size, this is my Zinidori Unicorn, which is in the standard size, you can see that it's the same width, but a bit shorter. So it really is quite comparable to the personal size Filofax, and I think it's a really nice size. It's not too small, but not too big. Um, the only thing I was worried about was I thought it would be difficult to find personal size inserts, but as it turns out, Love by Gabby actually sells Love Doki personal size traveler's notebook inserts, which are really nice, and I'll show those to you in a minute. So in terms of the traveler's notebook itself, it comes in four different colors. It only comes in personal size. The colors are this one, a light blue, which is showing up pretty true to life on camera. So it's definitely a light blue rather than a turquoise or a mint. It also comes in yellow, light pink, and hot pink. So the first thing that I really like about this is how the elastic is the same color as the notebook itself. It's some kind of OCD planner addict thing that it kind of bugs me when the elastic on a traveler's notebook is a different color than the traveler's notebook. So I really like that. Another thing that I love about it is how it has stitching, as you can see here. And the stitching is kind of coming up on camera as if it's white, but it's actually the same blue as the notebook cover. So I really like that. I think when you have stitching, it somehow just makes it look that much more really nice quality. I just, I love stitching. The uh, elastic comes out from the spine, which I also really like. And then it's got horizontal loops for the inside elastics. In terms of the material, this is quite a stiff faux leather. You can see it like this. It's not super thick, but it's very stiff, so it feels durable. I actually like the material of the Zinidori Unicorn, which I showed in a previous video, which is a lot floppier and more malleable. But this one is also, I think it's it, it feels very durable and rugged and like you could use this as your planner and throw it around and it, it kind of feels substantial enough to use as a planner. So I think it's just a personal preference whether you like a stiffer faux leather or a more bendy one. But this has so many nice features that even though I don't really like the stiff type of faux leather as much as the floppy one, it still it is totally worth it. So. When you open it, there is more awesome traveler's goodness to behold. Pockets! So this is another thing that completely sold me about this. I love it when traveler's notebooks have pockets and there are very, very few vegan leather traveler's notebooks that I know of with pockets. In fact, the only ones that I've ever seen are this one and the Zinidori Unicorn. So this has got one big pocket that's made out of a different material. You can see this material is much floppier and bendier. And then you've got another two half pockets with some nice stitching in the middle. And I think that this is just fantastic because it means you can put stickers and washi samples and all kinds of things in here. And so it just gives you an extra level of functionality that the basic traveler's notebooks don't have. Another thing I should mention that I like is that there's a little notch here on both sides for the elastic. So that's a nice feature because it means that the sides aren't going to get 
indented because you have this place where it just automatically slots in. You can see that the sides here are kind of, they're not, they're not really closed off. You can see the sort of inner material, which is kind of like a beige brownie. It almost feels like cork and looks like cork, but I'm assuming it must be some kind of man-made material. Then you have four elastics, which I really like because I am lazy. And so I would prefer just to have four separate elastics and be able to put my inserts on that rather than connecting the inserts with, with joining elastics and then doing it that way, even though I, I know you can do it like that, but I like having the four elastics. Another nice feature is that the elastic closure is finished off with these little metal tabs. So instead of just having a knot like this, it's, it's got this, which I think makes it look very kind of sleek and well finished. And then you have a secretarial pocket on the other side, which I love. And you can see the inside here. It's this kind of beigey, corky sort of material. And then you have the Love Doki logo here. It says Love Doki, enjoy your life. And then another wonder to behold, a pen loop. And in typical Love Doki fashion, this is a really nice elastic pen loop that you can fit all kinds of pens in. So for example, this is a 0.7 friction pen, which is pretty thick and absolutely no problem. You could easily fit in something a bit thicker. So I really, really love that. And then that's the back. So it's a beautiful traveler's notebook, really, really well done. Very, very good quality. It's lovely, nice feeling. Let's see what it looks like with the inserts. So as I said, these are Love Doki inserts and they're just stapled booklets with a very nice sort of speckled paper on the outside. And I got the gridded inserts, but they're also lined and plain ones. And then there's a weekly booklet and a daily booklet that are available at Love by Gabby. Probably they're available in other Etsy shops as well, but that's the only one where I know of that you can get them. And they're in personal size, obviously. So if we just put them in, I'll show you what it looks like with the inserts. Um, I think that this would be really, really suitable for use as a planner. And as you know, I've, I've kind of had problems with traveler's notebooks, like finding one that I felt like was sort of rugged enough to use as a planner. But this one, I feel like because it's got this nice stiff faux leather, I feel like it would be absolutely no problem to use it as a planner. I'm not using it as a planner because I've already got my planner lineup set up. I'm using it as something else, which I will reveal in my next video. So this is what it looks like with four inserts in. There's absolutely no overhang and there's quite a bit more room. So you could, I think, easily get another couple of inserts in if you wanted to. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm really, really pleased with this. I love it. I will show you what I'm using it for in the next video. As I said, I hope that you enjoyed this and I will be back again soon with another video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.